you can do this. Is there food in my teeth? I need stuff. Something else that I have found that I have needed. Dropped one, hold on. Just took my bond of denture out, held it out the window, held on to it really tight. Oomph, you know what I mean? So you're having your teeth pulled out. Welcome to the club. It's not as bad as you think it's gonna be. Okay, what do you need when you get dentures? Because I don't know, it just all of a sudden hit me one day. I need stuff. You need one of these. In fact, I have, I have two of these. I have two of these because I run one through my dishwasher every once in a while. But inside these, there's this tray that fits in here and your teeth go in inside here along with, I use these tablets. It comes in package, I mean, a strip that you can rip off and it just is a tablet. That side's white, that side's blue. And then I just drop it in here and then I fill it with warm water, not hot water, warm water, because this tablet will dissolve better. And then I just drop my dentures in there and now I leave them in overnight. I just leave them soak overnight because I don't like to, look at this one, this one's already starting to fizz if there was water in there. I don't like to leave my teeth in at nighttime. I started leaving my teeth out maybe two weeks into the process. Yeah, let me tell you this, what I've learned from watching and listening and hearing from all of you that you don't really need immediate dentures. You don't need to have them like right away because some people get them after they have all their teeth worn out. It depends on your dentist, but I'm going to tell you to talk to your dentist about this first because day three, I was in so much pain. I thought I was going to, uh, it, it was just over the top pain, pain, like pain, just pain. Oh, it was bad. If I would have known then what I know now, I would have just kept my teeth out. My gums would have swelled up. I know that they were already like in there pushing on my teeth and they were swollen and I had my teeth and it was bad. If I would do this again, I would just leave my teeth out until my gums swelled and, and it went down and my mouth would have felt, felt better. Talk to your dentist because just talk to your dentist. All right, something else that I have found that I have needed is a brush. You can use a denture brush. Some people say that they, they think it's too hard on dentures and they choose to use like a child's small toothbrush. Soft, make sure it's soft because you're just gonna brush. And I, and I like this because it gets in up underneath where it, like it just gets in there really good in this front area right there. Something else, these, you need some of these. Carry them in your purse. If you are at work, keep them in your desk. Just keep them in your car, just keep them everywhere. Because when you eat now, you're not gonna feel food between your teeth. So I just kind of go in and, you know, pick. If I'm in the car, I'll look in the mirror. If I'm in a restaurant, I'll just ask Rob, is there food in my teeth? You can't use this side. You can't use this side because you can't get in between your dentures but you can use this side, the pick side. Benzodent. I never used this, but I heard people that use this and it took the pain away. I got this after my extractions, but what I did have, I'm gonna put a picture of right here. I made a whole video on it. If you know eventually you're gonna get your teeth pulled, plant this flower, it's a toothache plant, and then pick off the buds, and then I soaked them in 100% alcohol for like five months and then I made a tincture out of it and and it took the pain right away in fact the flower buds you don't want to swallow them but if you I've tried it if you put one in your mouth or your whole mouth will go numb it that really worked that is what saved me when I hurt the most it was awful okay something else that I have a nail file a softer big nail file because you're going to go back to your dentist and he's going to adjust and he's going to move things and things are going to change and it got to the point where it's like oh this is hurting me because they got they sit down pretty far they sit down pretty far in there or on the inside just and if i would start getting a sore right here I'd just take my little trusty nail file and, and just pile it and that helped with sores and don't file a lot. If you're gonna file, I have a video on that too. I'll leave a link. Don't file a lot, just a little. And never file off the back of your dentures because there is a line back there and you just have to get used to the gagging. You'll get, you hear me? I'm not gagging anymore. You'll get through it, you'll get over it. Lifesavers, if you're gonna start to, to gag or you get the gag reflex, I just, 
would stick a lifesaver in my mouth and that would just take it away. It just trained my brain to think of something else and and that helped. But never, ever, 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 ever file off the back of your denture. Okay, denture adhesives. I dropped one. Hold on. Right away, you're not going to need denture adhesives because you're going to have open sores and you're not going to want to use adhesive. If you do use adhesive at all, only on the top denture, directly in the middle, and only a little bit where you know it's not going to touch your tooth extraction spots. Don't waste your money. Don't waste your money on this. Something else I recently found out that some of these, they have red dyes in them. And... I'm going to do a video soon on wearing one with a red dye in it. I'm not testing this one because this one doesn't hold. It doesn't work. This fixident works great, but it's pink. So um, subscribe because I'm going to do a video wearing this for a week because some denture adhesives had bothered my top and I didn't pay attention enough until recently. I like caught on to this red dye thing so i'm gonna wear this for like a week and see if it's that that irritates my gums and i can't even say it irritates it it's just a weird feeling that i get on my gums like a throbbing slight weird feeling but i guess that's the only way i can describe it read your labels but i would stay away from these two right now i, I really would because they have red dye in them and if red dye bothers you then stay away from these. What I do like is this one with the aloe, secure with the aloe, and then there's just regular secure. These hold great. They, these are my favorite. These are very my favorite. And um, this, I like the one with the aloe vera. They both hold super fantastic. Fixinant powder, when you're able to put adhesive on your bottom denture, this fixinant powder is great over top of any adhesive because it will hold your denture in longer. So you put the adhesive in the lower denture and then you put some powder on top of that, put it in your mouth, it should last you all day. This lasts anyway, but this just gives it a little more oomph. oomph you know what I mean? I recently did a review on this one. This is a Polygrip Max. Polygrip Max. This one is the, the regular Polygrip. This is the Polygrip Max. I like this the best out of the two Polygrips. This is not pink. In fact, pretty much the ingredients are really close to the same. They just are the same. They just took the red dyes out of this one. Denture adhesive. These. These. These are good. That's really all you need to start with. You don't even need the adhesive right, right away. I mean, just have some just in case. I would also keep adhesive in your purse or in your wallet or wallet yeah good luck with that <laughs> or in your office desk or somewhere just have an extra tube of of something because you just never know you just never know when you may eat something and something may pop out of the blue and then it's like you just have to reapply i've had to do that like driving down the road i did that one day we went we went to the olive garden it was right when i first started using adhesive and stuff and right when I first start, first started eating like lettuce again and salad, and you know their salads are oily. So anyway, my bottom denture popped, and I'm like, oh geez. And it was just moving. We we're in the truck, and we we're driving down the road in front of the mall, so we were going slow. And I just took my bottom denture out, held it out the window, held on to it really tight, had a bottle of water, and I'm just dumping water on it, just rinsing out my denture out the car window. <laughs> yeah, I did that. You can do this. I can do this, you can do this. If you go into this thinking that this is gonna be the most worst thing you've ever done in your life, you're gonna be pleasantly surprised because then it won't be the worst thing you've ever done in your life. Just get through it, just get through it. And, and we're, all, we're, all, we're all doing it together, so yeah. All right, I'll see you in my next video.